This is the neighborhood I'm planning to map today, and as you can see on the map, there's not a lot of data here. So I'm going to teach you guys the basics of mapping with OpenStreetMap, uh, which is a collaborative open source system for making maps. So I've got a notepad, field paper, and my trusty GPS, and I'm going to use this to collect information and make the map look better. This is a field paper, which is a printout of the current OpenStreetMap map. What I'm doing is I'm using it to walk around and fill in missing parts of the map. So I'm drawing in new buildings, any roads that are missing, uh, as well as the attributes that I want to collect. And later I'll add those in digitally to the OpenStreetMap database. So another way I can add points of interest to the map is by using a GPS, which uh, marks my location on the Earth. Uh, so, for example, I can use it to mark the location of this restaurant um, by saving the location of where I'm standing right now and then writing in my notes that this point is just to cook the restaurant. Jumping ahead to phase two of the mapping process, I'm at my computer now with all my notes and I've copied GPS data as well and opened it up in the editing software. So I'm going to use all this to draw new features on the map and upload all that data to OpenStreetMap. That's it. I'll go to the OSM website, click refresh, and you can see now that everything I added is now on the map. Thanks for watching. I'm going to finish up by showing a few sections of the city that have been mapped really nicely. And you can see a lot of the different things that it's possible to map on OpenStreetMap.